Well, folks, we made it to paradise here in Turquoise Bay, and look how beautiful this is. We're gonna be here for the next five hours, and I know that more than likely, you're on Royal Caribbean's website, deciding whether or not you wanna come here. First of all, it's a yes, okay? Well, let me go ahead and give you a whole day's rundown of what we're going to do. That includes snorkeling, we're going kayaking in clear kayaks, which are right over here. You get unlimited food, snack first, which is like nachos, all fresh. Then later we got jerk chicken, all a bunch of great food. On top of all of that, when you go snorkeling all the way out there, tons and tons of fish. Now you're only here for five hours, I wish you could be here longer, but do know, unlimited alcohol. So get as many drinks as you want. Anyways, let's go ahead and start off the day on our ship and how we got here, and then finally let you get into the water, because I got my waterproof camera, so we're bringing you along. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey, let's do this. is the resort here it is absolutely beautiful and it's massive too we're actually staying underneath one of these our stuff's right here what they have there there's picturesque swings in the water and little over it looks like little huts which i don't think you can rent them if you come with your cruise i believe that's only for resorts guests because this is a resort but we have got our drinks and sat under here and then swung over there or swang swang swing whatever See more people over here on swings. This place is just so massive and since we were the only ship there, we had everything to ourselves besides the resorts. I want to show you around just a little bit just because it really is so beautiful. You can see how picturesque this is. I took this video of my wife because uh, she's in a minute taking her videos over here. Yeah, I got some videos here for you. Now all that being said, you can see as she walks down the beach, how beautiful the water is, so many palm trees. This is the bar, unlimited drinks. They were really good too. They weren't skipping on the alcohol, I'll tell you that. Then they have a bunch of food at the buffet. They have two times they're feeding you, one for a snack and the one for like a lunch. Uh, all the food was good, homemade right there, homemade desserts. You name it, they had it all, even hot dogs and fries. And then they had this pony on the beach, which was pretty cool because across the way, you could, if you stay at the resort, ride a pony or a horse. They've got some land you can ride around in. And they really take care of these guys. They actually just walked this one over and gave it food and some water. And they were getting ready to take another guest to the other side. But if you look straight out, that's where we go snorkeling. And on the right-hand side, that's where you go and take the kayaks out and those clear kayaks. And this is just a pan over to showcasing the resort once again because it is so beautiful. It is honestly something I never expected when we first signed up for this. We're gonna go ahead and go kayaking out that way to look for a different kind of marine life in this clear boat we kind of saw on the way in. Hopefully we see something cool. About to go out in the clear kayaks. Oh, look how cool this place looks. Now that we ready went kayaking, we're gonna go snorkeling and on board a board boat over there. Sorry, I almost fell. Uh, we've got our own gear. You can bring your own or they give you one. And um, we're gonna head all the way out there. It's about like a 15 minute, 20 minute ride. Snorkel for about half an hour to 45 minutes and make our way back.
just got back from snorkeling and it was amazing. Honestly, they have a beautiful reef out there with so many fish and we probably saw a couple hundred of them. Uh, they only give you about 35 minutes out there before coming back. We actually, our stay here unfortunately only has an hour and a half left. So they brought us back. We're gonna have some lunch and then swim a little bit more and then we gotta get out of here and get back to the ship. Let's look at this view here. You got a little pony in the background. You got tons of drinks, beautiful water. Can't get better than this, right? The buses are here, that means it's time to go. If you do this excursion, you have to understand that it's about 45 minutes on the way back. You know, you'll still have about an hour and a half to kind of walk around the main streets down below, but you know, that's kind of up to you. What we're gonna do is probably more than likely is take a shower here, then get changed and then head that way. I don't know if we'll walk around for a little bit, but at least we're changed and kind of ready to go just in case if we want to. And for a side note, I want people to understand that this is the off season. This is the end of September. So they only have three boats coming in this entire week. Usually they have about 10 to 15. So this place could be a lot more busier than what it is right now. It's hard to say goodbye to a place like this, which is just paradise. Let's take a look. Am I right? If you go there, let us know what you think. It's our little secret we're telling you, because not many people come here yet. We'll be back. We'll, we'll be back. We're coming back here. But anyway, gotta get back on the ship. One last dip in the water for Joel. Ah, uh, ah, uh, dip, dip, dip. Dip, dip, dip. my wife in one of the stores over here behind me because we found out right at the very end you can get your passport stamped and we didn't bring our passport off the boat this time and so I'm like no when are you going to go back to Honduras right you want to get that passport stamped you know Julie and I have been to well I've been to seven different countries uh Julie's been to more because she lived in Europe and so I'm like well we have to get this done so I'm quickly running up grabbing it and coming back down. So boat's leaving in 45 minutes. We had a quick little in and out. We're running there. We'll get there in time. Whew. Sorry, I rushed that a little bit because they closed a half an hour before we leave and there was only 45 minutes left, which meant that there were 15 minutes left. So <laughs> I was quickly running down there, me and my wife, giving the passport and then running back. So let me share with you what it looks like. How neat, right? Now I have, I think, gosh, maybe nine different stamps in here. And Julia has way more than me because she's been to Egypt, she's been to Turkey, she's been to so many different countries, uh, especially in Europe. Anyway, I wanna thank you guys for joining me. If you came for this review of Turquoise Bay, hands down, you gotta do it. I learned so much about that whole area just a little background information just because I, I like to know history i like to know information and um 
turns out that place was started by a uh, guy who's now 30 years old. So a few years older than me, uh, it was inherited. So he got that from his parents. He got from his parents, from his parents, but it was him who said, you know, we should put some kind of resort here. And so they do everything from scuba diving to snorkeling. It's a full inclusive resort. We went snorkeling, of course, and clear kayaking. There was unlimited food, which was like a, it was chicken, but it was coconut chicken. Amazing. They also had bell peppers in there. It was pretty good. They did hamburgers, hot dogs, fries, uh, plantains, which my wife never had before and she loved. And um, that's pretty much about it. For lunch, there were snacks. We had watermelon and pineapple. Then we had nachos, all handmade stuff. Like, oh gosh, your salt was really good. Uh, but let me tell you, I wish we were there for a little bit longer. You know, granted, they wanted to get us back to the ship with an hour and a half time just to play it safe. But... I'm a big snorkeler, so I could snorkel for hours in Coco Cay. Uh, we got off the boat first thing, and we last people, well, not the last people on it, fairly close to it. I could snorkel the entire day, so, you know, I wish I would have had a little more time with that. But um, ultimately, this place is beautiful, and in the coming years, it's only going to get better, because like our tour guide said, that they're building up this city and this island so much that he's like, in the next 10 years, you're not going to realize you know, what this place was because of how much they're doing. But anyway, I wanna thank you for joining me. If this video was helpful, please let me know. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up. I don't know if you could hear that, but it sounds like they just started up the engines. So I'll see you guys later, bye. And I was gonna end the video there, but then we went downstairs and watched this sail away party, which is the coolest thing I've ever seen. They're singing, they're dancing, they've got all these floats, they're going around. I was very impressed. I mean, just take a listen. But then it ended after like 20, maybe half an hour. We got to see more flow. I mean, look at these things. You know, it was September and I was already thinking Halloween because I'm like, look at these costumes. I'm very jealous. I kind of need one of this for Halloween. Look at that. Look at that. The pirate. They had so many things going on here. But then we went upstairs and we watched a sail away, which there was a sunken ship kind of just hanging out there. So that was kind of cool. All right. Well, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.